Well, as we continue to uncover more details about the shooting, we want to take a closer look at Officer Caraway and the suspect. News 19's Whitney Sullivan joins us now with what we've learned so far. Whitney. Yes, Brandon. Well, this is what we're learning. We've heard that Caraway was a well-loved member of the community. He was a veteran of the Florence City Police Department and lived in Darlington. We're told he just received his 30-year service pin from the department. Caraway was 52 years old. The Florence Police Chief Anlin, Alan Heidler called Caraway the bravest officer he knew. You heard that just a couple of moments ago. He talked about his friend and asked for prayers for the victims yesterday in a press conference. Here's some of what he had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with me as this has been an absolutely horrendous evening and an emotional evening. Today will mark a very horrific day in the annals of the Florence Police Department. Today we lost a good friend of mine, an officer that I've known for 30 years. We have three other officers at this particular time who are receiving attention at this hospital. I can only echo the sentiments of the sheriff and ask for, at this particular time, the prayers of every human being who knows the Lord Jesus Christ to pray for these officers. They were responding to the scene of an incident where they knew that their brothers from the sheriff's office, their brothers and sisters from the sheriff's office were in need, as we all do and they do for us. I want to thank this community for reaching out already. I want to thank all of my brothers and sisters in blue from around this country who are already reaching out. We will take care of our family because this is my family. These officers are my family. We will take care of them and we will take care of their loved ones. But I want you to please pray for these officers and their speedy recovery. Pray for the family who lost the bravest police officer that I have ever known.